In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to configure maintenance mode with your Body Boss theme. So to get to where I'm at, go to Body Boss theme options, maintenance mode, and you'll see an option to enable maintenance mode. It says if enabled, it will show a maintenance message for logged at users. So let me just go into a private incognito window. So here's what I would see as a logged out user normally. And I'm gonna turn on maintenance mode. And now we have the maintenance mode. So this is really useful if you want to disable a bunch of plugins to test things on your site or you're migrating data or any other scenario where you don't want users to visit the site for a while. You don't have to add some third party plugin and figure it all out. You can just check this button over here. And then we have some options to uh, control what the page looks like and what kind of content shows up on the page. So first we have the title and the description. That's pretty self-explanatory. You can change this text. So I'll say, come back soon. So we allow HTML in here. This is just a line break. All right. And then we have the maintenance image. So I'm going to turn that on and save. And now we have an image here. And you can also upload a custom image if you'd like. I'll go back to the default. And then we're going to enable the countdown. So here you can see back on line date, enter the date the site will come back online. So this could be that your site is off or downtime, or it could be that your site is pre-launch and you just want the screen up until you launch. Either way, this is the date that it's going to come online. So I could say like today is May 18th, 2019. Let's say October 1st, 2019 and save that. And then we get a countdown. Or I could say, I could do it in like this kind of date format. It'll accept that too. Same result. So we get a countdown. This is, you know, it might be that it's coming back online tomorrow, or it might be that this is like a pre-launch thing. In both scenarios, this would definitely be useful. And then we're going to go for enable subscribe. So if I turn this on, It says the text you put, and then it is, is looking for a short code. So for example, like if this is a pre-launch site or maybe it's online, but it's down and you want a contact form, you'd put in a short code. So maybe through gravity forms, you create a short code or through some newsletter, active campaign, some sign up thing like that, you get a short code and you could paste that in here and it will display on your maintenance page. So I'm going to turn that off and then we can play with social networks. So let's add the buddy boss. Facebook account and the Buddy Boss Twitter account and save that. And you just get some links to your social networks. And then we're going to go ahead and enable the last option, which is contact. So it's going to give us some contact text, which you can override. And then the bottom, contact us at, you can put your email or you could just put any other text on here that you'd like. And then of course, once you're ready to go live with your site again, you just turn this off and everything's back to normal.